my god. Hello everyone. Welcome <laughs> to episode 9 of El Conquistadore. How are we all doing today? Alright. Oof. It's good. It's pretty it's good. good. My, it's been my internet's been immediately dying. Built six cups of sweet tea on the floor today, so I'm fantastic. Oh, oh no. Oh, man. Hey. For plan. You sinner. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Terrible. <Shame laughs> I don't <right>. deserve. <laughs> I don't deserve sweet tea anymore. I don't. <laughs> so. I drink normal tea. For goodness sake. Anyhow. Where is the, the, uh, here? the ritualist art while you do the. The recap. Oh, yeah. Well, last time on Crystal Dolores in Paul Brazil, we found a huge, huge dinosaur. <laughs> I tell you what, the cutest dinosaur I ever saw. And we punched him to death oh, before he could uh, uh, eat King. <laughs> it was a co close call, let me tell you that. <laughs> the boy is might, mighty chewy, but uh, he's small. You know, Bram. He's all, all, all fine now. That was like the big thing. Second big thing, we made friends with the lizard men, and now we are their camp. Yeah. Where we are bar barbecuing the dinosaur. In Brazilian barbecue style. Brazilian, just, just flap it on, onto the pot. <laughs> Also, we found more traces of civilization. Is, is there be something well, in the jungles? That is to say, some civilized people in the wilderness. Who no longer live. Probably anyway. If they do, they probably shouldn't. <clears throat> Indeed. Even. Anyhow, what do you boys want to do? Do you want maybe to chillax with the dinosaur, or do you want us to fast forward? Maybe. Well, we may as well see here and like rest and replenish all our health and balance and whatever we need. Examine the local culture. Yes. Of the generates. <laughs> Let's find out. Yes. Let's Let's smile and wave. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I have some questions for them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Skip the song. <laughs> if so, it's not "You Shook Me All Night Long" by ACDC, it's completely wrong. <laughs> well, <laughs> copyright. No, oh, it's it's. It's yes, the one. Stone it's Age. The oh, okay. We need to play. Welcome to the jungle. We got that fun games. <laughs> we ate dinosaur for supper. It, it's like. And we want to get laid. Ark survival evolved. We got dinosaurs. <laughs> oh no! Right. Oh no. So, uh, beside uh, uh, Katahan and uh, Johnson, or is it uh, Tagal, uh, who has, who else has uh, Kutlan, the language? I think it's only us two. Yeah, is uh, the, the leader the only one who speaks, uh, or is maybe somebody else to assist? The leader? He, he, he's in there. Uh. Um, before we continue with that, Kipling has a question for Johnson. Okay. That sword. Where did you find it? Who gave it to you? Why? I found it. How? What is it? <laughs> well, I should ask, I guess, what, what interest of it is, is it to you? But I did find it directly north along the cliff side there was another one of those bodies from whatever previous expedition we seem to keep finding exactly previous expedition 
Did you find anything? Did you find anyone? There was a skeleton in rusted out gold armor, but there wasn't really anything to tell who or what. Was there fire? Um... Not that I saw. Damn it. <laughs> well. A little in invisible question mark is just hovering above Johnson's head. <laughs> Oh, quick! Kiplin, he has a quest! <laughs> oh, shit. I <laughs> grab him! <laughs> yep. I accept your side quest. Um, <laughs> what Kiplin is gonna do after that, though, even though he's walking detected back, he's basically gonna say in Thieves' Cant. Uh, well, he's going to ask Johnson if he can ask the Lizardman something. Sure. Okay. In this card, he's gonna ask Johnson if he can ask the lizard men, are there any other foreigners or humans here? Which That's one? Good Johnson is going to obviously show surprise that someone is speaking to him in these camp. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Gaboli, ask them the question, eh? No? Do you get my drift, yay? I'm gonna roll <laughs> insight to see what the fuck they're on about. I, I think they're having an enlightened conversation. <laughs> what, in a botics? An enlightened conversation in, like, Sherlock Holmes' cabby ebotics. Oh, yeah. Like, the way we're doing the flippy doop, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is a flippy doop, but, uh... <laughs> Uh, so, so what are you perceiving, Ritualist? Just try, trying to take a look at the camp, like, what are lizardmen like, uh, are they wearing armor, scales, are they looking at us, talking, can they maybe pick up some conversation? Yeah, there's, um, like, one or one other boy has one of the, um, those Aztec swords, those name I keep forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, other boys have the like... The teeth sword, yeah. Yeah, other boys have like spears and whatnot. But they're uh, all eagerly waiting for uh, the dinner to finish cooking. Oh, it's not finished yet. Um, just spinning it as a right. look around. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, go. I, just... I have a question for you. Uh, one of our uh, companions is quite curious. We uh, stumbled across that body on our way back to the uh, scene of the hunt earlier today. You, mm -hmm. That you saw the body, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The dead fellow in armor. The fall. You know place. anything? You know anything about that that group that came through previously? Nope. Did you interact nope. with them in any way? You seen the silly man who falls from high place? He returned to Earth where he belonged. <laughs> Perhaps he thought he could fly. <laughs> Billy boy. I think he's one of those fly boys from Fly Boy Tribe. <laughs> there is a fly, fly boy tribe? <laughs> yes, Fly Boy Tribe. To the. Was it Southwest? Uh, I ask, uh, take a, uh, does anybody beside him speak uh, the Tugelan language? Sutlan, whatever, how do you pronounce Chultan. that? Yeah. Chultan. The chief, he speaks Chultan. Can I can ask you, would it be okay to speak with the, with the chief? Get to know him? Oh, hey, get out here! <laughs> no, no. He kind of nods at this boy. And then I'm there. He nods to this boy, and this boy just goes, wanders in. All right, nice. <laughs> what the fuck is Kipling saying? 
<laughs> Thieves cat, my friend. Thieves cat. Yeah, let me let me pull up my thieves camp guide and see if I can respond in kind. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds so stupid. Oh no, it's undeniably retarded. Are you just using pigeon? <laughs> we need him, D. I think he's drawing pig Latin. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> it's just... a uh, nay or quinoa. No, yeah. no, Thieves Cant's an actual language. Like, it's an actual, there's an actual Thieves Cant, um, language, like, dictionary. It's like, it's like death or what? <laughs> no, it's, it, it, it's more like, um, Cockney. Oh god, that's, yeah. that's still big. <laughs> yeah, there's an actual, um, Thieves Cant dictionary. Well, then. Start off. Yeah. Ten minutes trying to write one sentence in Thieves Cant. <laughs> I'll try to uh, maintain proper thieves cant from here on out. <laughs> I like I how will. Kipling has just walked over and is just standing over to Johnson, who's just sitting there and staring at him, saying all of. Yeah, he starts just humming a jig, humming a jig, humming a jig at me. Like. <laughs> all right, so as, as he's they all get just fired. Uh, as, I mean, as these conversations are happening over here, what is Demay and Pyro up to? Eating. I'm just I'm having a good time. You're eating some of the berry boy berries, is it? Oh, no, stuff the dinosaur, because why not? Oh, well, they're finishing cooking the dinosaur, but yeah. Oh. The elf oh. fondness is just gnawing on raw meat. <laughs> it's like a savage. <laughs> <laughs> and Katka, when, when, like, the, when the tail is done, she will uh, take out a na nice big uh, cut Mm -hmm. I like to make it a gift to, to the chief, like the, the juiciest bit. No, he's not come out yet. Oh. Uh, I'm trying to account for passage of time. <laughs> what is the main uh, doing? Uh, sh she will give it to, to Ta Takia, like when the piece is done. Mm -hmm. Like he here, the best part mm -hmm. for, for the boss. Mm -hmm. And what is the mayor doing? So I guess I'm probably just. Uh enjoying a meal with Pyra since I guess we're the only two who really can't understand anything that's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just vibing. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Alright. Uh, is it right for like uh, uh, Katakan to slowly pick up uh, the, 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 the draconic, you know, the simple phrases? You can learn draconic in 10 days. Down. Yeah, just like start slowly talking me, Katakan. I come in peace. Do you fight? Yes, you know things like that. Yeah, yeah no, that's fine. Uh, you can learn that over ten days. Uh, I'm just trying to move something into a lair. Oh, there it is. Um, the boy returns outside, and now comes the chief. Oh shit! Will named him. Oh no! <laughs> Will named him Bob. His name is Bob. Oh, amazing! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I spelt it differently, I imagine, but its name I imagine is Bob. it's spelled like E H A H H B or something yep. to make it make sense. His name is Bob. Spelt with an A and a accent on the A. Bob. Bob. Oh, shit. Perfect. It's like a, a bit, is he like bigger than all the other boys or just uh, older? He's slightly bigger and old, significantly older than the rest of the boys. Oh, oh sad. Yeah, and Tika gives him his seat. <coughs> nice. He takes a seat next to Johnson. In between Callahan and Johnson, I guess. And his, just silently sits there. What? Oh, what? Oh. Very cool. Um. I don't know if I have alcohol on me. Oh no. I'm gonna do that again. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna, gonna do this. Um, uh, can I roll to. Because I don't remember bringing alcohol, so I should probably do like a roll. You might have a, like a little hip flask in your backpack. Yeah. I'll, I'll give him a swig of that and kindly offer it to him. You hand him your hip flask? He sniffs at it. Looks at you. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah, smile and drink it. 
Oh yeah, yeah. And he drinks. He takes a sip out of it. <laughs> yep. Then we find his character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! This is where he gets fucking raged or something. <laughs> just get shit faced. Uh, I'm, I'm looking From at the one step. wrong one. Big sip. <laughs> Big sip. This is the problem of running so many games simultaneously. I, I can never find character sheets for things because. This is hot water. Uh, You'll get the natives addicted to alcohol to get less. Oh no! Yep. We are the good back strategy. I may have done this before. <laughs> he, he knows how to do this in this game. Oh, he, he downs the, the whole. The oh whole shit. Lava. Nice. Yeah, no, he I'm smiles dead. at you. Do you have nice a smile more? back? Oh, cheers! <laughs> His eyes <laughs> slowly drift in different directions. <laughs> no, he's 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 managed to stomach it. He's vibing. Nice. Yeah. nice. Do you have Chad more? Lizard Chief? <laughs> That's more, good. More fire water. More fire water. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds like whiskey. God damn it. Next, we're gonna be handing out smallpox bl blankets. No. Hey, that wasn't on purpose. In real life. Here. It will be. <laughs> it will be. Right. Is, bring, is the food ready? You bring. Oh, yeah, we could be like eating it for some time. Oh, you nice. Bring Great Feast to what TT tried. And we say like how our emperor teaches us to go and explore the world and mm. build new homes and bring light and make friends. <laughs> bring light to the world. <laughs> what, what, what is emperor? Oh shit. Uh, say again, cross please. What is emperor? Uh, I tell him about uh, how they have uh, their god, the, 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 the dragon. We have our, uh, our god, the emperor. Emperor wishes to be f friend with all the nations of the world. He wants to banish evil, the evil witch Clinton, who tries to conquer the world. Evil witch? Is yeah. this conversation happening in common, by the way, or is this still Cholton? Ah, uh, Cholton. Uh, you can try common. Uh, this is like, yeah, uh, and, jo and Johnson can uh, low key uh, translate it back to common, and uh, mm -hmm. have, uh, so he made friends for thousand years. He overhears you yes. speaking it in common. Emirates and Israel fought the war, but he Emperor is. <laughs> he overhears you speaking in common and can speak common. Oh shit, he speaks common. Oh, Chief, you can speak common. Wait, he what? It's almost as if someone who's more educated can speak more languages. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm not more educated and I can speak the most languages. <laughs> Kipling being very excited is going to chance it and uh, walk up to the man and shout in on Turco at him. He assuming just, he he just potentially knows bends all the way down to your height as he's like a seven foot tall and you're like what? Like six you're like what, like five feet? Uh, How he's... tall is Kipling? Judging Kipling. by the drawing, he's two foot six. Yeah. Yeah. Kip that. Kipling's taller than the drawing. He's usually depicted in the drawings. How tall are you, Kipling? Yeah. Kipling is ish. That his love for his people. Well, he's like like. Oh, is he shorter than five foot? Is he? He's a he's a midget midget. I would presume he's like three point five or four foot around. He's that, like he's about four foot. Let's say he's four. Like foot. a dwarf yeah. kind of height. Well, he's he's he's. Yeah, about a dwarf. Well, it's slightly taller than As he shouts at the chief, then Kipling, mind your manners. So the chief just hey, bends down home. to about eye level with you at four feet. <laughs> <laughs> he just he doesn't answer. He doesn't say it. He just stares at you. <laughs> Kipling is going to look at him with basically emerging between the fucking deer eyes and the puppy eyes and say, In Antarctica. He and then we'll, we'll try to close check like he's special. <laughs> he turns he's... to Johnson and turns to Catahan. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Oh, in, in Charlton. <laughs> in Charlton. 
Uh, let's see. What was strange one? Roll. Uh, he he injured brain. Sometimes I feel he's more of a pet. He injured head. Uh, <laughs> Kipley, however, upon not getting a response, and more so uh, seeming like the man doesn't understand him, is going to just turn around and look very detected. Katakan will say the lunch almost had him for lunch. <laughs> That's not the thing. He uh, he asks you, a ritualist, who killed? We did, us together. I and Pepperham, that are uh, our leaders, uh, Johnson and Taggart. That, that is our brave fighter, Damio and Hunter Kipling. May I just get a wave? <laughs> and uh, p- 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 and that p- that p- is Pyra, our uh, no- noble medicine woman. Ah, medicine. Good. You need medicine? Yes, I also do medicine. Ah. Maybe you can talk. She very smart. Uh, X. <laughs> you wish to be friends with what yes. you tried? We wish to be friends, we wish to build a, a, a village close to you, we, we wish to, to trade, we wish not to fight over food. <laughs> we are wandering to go down the river to the great mountains, we heard great treasures up there, mm-hmm. mighty beasts. Do you know all, all such things? Mighty beasts and mountains? And the great treasure. Hmm. Who told you such things? We heard uh, st- stories from merchants up north. Hmm. If we if we find if we find them, prosperity <laughs> for, for, for you, for the emperor, for the dragonist, for us. If not, well. We know that no, nobody else will have to go. <laughs> uh, you know what? You know what? Here we go. Mm, okay. There's no great beasts east or west towards mountain. There. Creatures like this, you know, gesturing at the uh, dinosaur currently cooking. They're like that, maybe bigger, but no great beasts. Mm-hmm. I can will point that is pretty big for uh, for us, not for you. That's something we expected. <laughs> There are strange things west. She will like lean down and give all her attention. There are enemies west. Uh, T- Takatiti told us other tribes. Yes, like And he, he, you, can, you can tell he seems really agitated by that. Yes, other tribes. They try to steal food from us. If we if we work together, they will never try to steal food from the, from us ever again. <laughs> he gestures towards this tent. Says, "We catch them." We eat them. Katkan, like, well, we have never been that hungry. 
But uh, we'll be sure to give them to you. Uh, who, who's... Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, what were you saying, Ritualist? Katakan okay, will say, well, we have never been that hungry. Mm -hmm. if, you like the, if you like them, we'll de deliver them to you. Yes, this good. You kill our enemies. We be friends. <laughs> yes. We help each other, we fight together. We share food. Life gets good. Ah, yeah. You want to share food? Well, we, we want to uh, share food when times are bad, but mm -hmm. if, you, if you want us to keep getting food, it would be better if you can give us this yellow metal in exchange. <laughs> As she points, in that we can bring more food. Why yellow metal? Uh, do we have a few gold coins to show? To oh, show? Yeah, you can pull out a few gold coins. You yeah, sure. Ah. Very valued up north and across the, the Great Sea. If you help, help us find it, we bring many, many goods. We've seen some food in runes. There's some of this. Maybe when it, we are ready in a, in a few days, it our village is safe. It is of no interest to us. So, we help. If you need help, we help. Yes, Get we help. We will help each other. Yes. As thank you for your gift. We also have gift of food. When you leave, you may take him with you. Let me guess, is it that one of the captives inside the tent is still, still alive? I don't know. I don't know. Would you like to well. ask him? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'll I'll save surprise for the end. So, okay. if any of you other boys want to talk to the village, and have will of course uh, relay everything how they might expect a bit more food, but uh, they don't expect gold, so we can profit from that. You know, what? fuck it. Kipling is going to jump on it. He is going to now do a bow, and then excuse himself for previously, and say... He chuckles. Sorry. Sorry about my previous behavior. It's just I am here partially also. Yes, I'm with them, but I am also looking for someone. I doubt you would know them by name, but I was wondering... I've asked your colleagues whether or not you've seen anyone human or akin to us around here. Uh, I was wondering, have you heard the name Shia LaBeouf before? I know C. Have any of you see Man. She boo. I, I, I still yeah. <laughs> He had a big flag. <laughs> As, aside from the dead man in the woods, they have not noticed anyone other than some tracks of people wandering around in the woods. Oh, hey. Tracks of small feet wandering around small. the woods. And they kind of uh, point. They point to like your your feet, <laughs> small feet. Wait a minute. Does that mean? Was that before or after you met us? Before. Where did you find them, sir? If I may ask. Thirty moons. But to the west. Where? To the west. I see. It's about a month to the west. 
Thank you. The Montegolf to the west. Thank you for your information, sir. And your hospitality. He kind of tosses your hair a bit. <laughs> and just turns to kind of this one funny. Uh, <laughs> he, can, he can be. I like Kata can be like, uh, 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 I, I out. But by the way, look at the general. I love the derpy eyes. <laughs> 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 oh god. Okay. Oh, fucking Johnson enjoying his scotch whiskey. <laughs> Tagger. Johnson has not taken Tagger, his helmet yeah, off in yeah. like two weeks. No, sorry, I, I'm way too much shit going on in my head at the moment. <laughs> yeah, uh, 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 as the end, uh, Katakan would ask it would it be okay to. Uh, d d dance for the diamond. <laughs> Please. She, she, she will uh, like uh, take uh, the skull of the dinosaur. She like hold out and put it like a mask, mm -hmm. and she will dance a terrifying war dance as she tells the story as the, of the battle. how the be beast attacked them and they fought it. Mm -hmm. oh. The, uh, oh, you do a pretty good one. The boys, the chief orders the boys to do uh, to do a dance in return. Let's see if I can get them to do it. Uh, what would it be? Charisma. The boys perform. Uga chaka, uga chaka, uga chaka. <laughs> the boys perform a haka. Yes, and, yes. And, and, and you're you're. It terrifies you, apparently. <laughs> or it's rather silly. Either way, no, it's... it is not very effective. Oof. <laughs> How sad. Yeah. Uh, can can Katakana att attempt to do uh, Intimidate against Derry? Just a n normal rule. Are oh, you trying to do, do one in return? Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Intimidate. Yeah. Katahan's hack is better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like the lion roar and shit. <laughs> she, she looks like at the the one who got scared the, the least and say, "You brave, you with me." <laughs> and as soon as uh, you all finish up your meals, you eat your fill, etc., etc. Um. The chief gestures to these two boys and they wander off into this tent over here. Is there anything uh, you'd like to ask, Pyra or Demea? Um, maybe about local plans, so like asking them. Because, for example, I think I would have the notebook with me. Where I drew the plants that I don't know, and ask them if they know it. He, he, he points at the the goldy one. And he says, this good plant for healing injuries, healing wounds. This plant help recover, help poison. This good plant. It's a healing plant. But it's a really potent healing plant, so it does a lot. I shall write it down. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to ask about the the ruins that we found. Mm -hmm. Kind of over by the camp where we have the skull and crossbones drawn, and it says mm -hmm. dark things lay here. Um, I just want to. Ask and see if they know anything about it. Ah. You mean runes of Baka worshippers? Yes. Baka is great god. Toroko is disciple of Baka. The great Toroko. 
he tell us about snake men who live many many years ago in this land but no longer live here can I roll a perception check to see if uh, Kipling hears this yep Wait a minute. This Baka figure. Wasn't that the one that was a statue of there? Isn't he some manner of a... Wait a minute. I think... Didn't I do a lore check and find out he was termed as the Necromancer, correct? Mm-hmm. Yes, perfect. Isn't he termed as... The necromancer. Yes. He have... So you consider necromancers holy. Is that correct? He have ability to return from death. However, we do not use this. We do not wish to awaken people from their final sleep. It is considered taboo to do so. So it is both holy and taboo. However, in, Toroko... In Cholton... Uh, no, go ahead. However, Toroko decides. Go ahead, Ben. No, I'm waiting for you to finish. That was it. Toroko decides. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Johnson... Uh, in Cholton, mm -hmm. to wake one from final slumber is mm -hmm. bad business in our land as well. It is a great power and is respected, but it is considered. What I'm trying to convey is this boy life. specifically does not like the idea of it, but his god seems to be the one that kind of does it. Yeah, no, we're, uh, we're saying it is respected. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, like you respect like a snake <laughs> that's gonna bite you. <laughs> like it is respected, but it is considered not something you do. So, do the these uh, lizard folk worship the god represented by that statue that we saw? Uh, kind of. They okay. represent. They they worship the uh, someone who worships him. Uh, so, if I get this correctly, uh, there was a dragon god. And uh, his snake disciple, who became a necromancer, or something like that. Uh, another way around. The, you know the, snake, the snake god. Hang on, let me let me find the thing. I'm in a different thing altogether. Trying to do something. Uh, let me start from the beginning to give you a uh, reminder. Um, so, where is it? Story. Wrong one. Uh, so a long time ago there was the, the snake people and they worshipped uh, what called the necromancer and Taroko, their god, the lizardman's god, worships him. But they don't necessarily worship him but they kind of honour him by default. Ah. Yeah. So God worships him. Yeah. Uh, so uh, lizardman God worships the snake people God. Yeah. And sna snake uh, s snake people God is a necromancer. Yeah. Uh, Baka is the necromancer. Toroko, or Taraco, sorry, I'm pronouncing it wrong. Taraco is their uh, their God, but they don't like. The idea, some of the ideas of the first one, Baka. Have you considered reforming and, I don't know, taking away the less savory parts? This not my choice, this Toraco choice. Fair enough. You take this to Toraco. You ask him yourself. 
Uh, so that's that's necromancer. That's necromancer god. No, Taraco is uh, is not the necromancer. Taraco is uh, the dragon, Snake. the black dragon. Yeah. Uh, Taraco worships Baka, who is the necromancer. Baka is the necromancer. Does, does this not pop up? Yeah. Uh, it did. Yeah. Just in Yeah. Not to be mixed up with Aga, which is another snake god that the snake men worshipped. He yes, was the god of destruction. He was the god of destruction and warfare. He was the boy that, that um, Taggart was told to look out for. Oof. Well, even more mm -hmm, but this region chat. doesn't actually worship him, but they, your yeah. man didn't have any way of knowing that. Turns out dark things truly did lay them. Yeah, basically the equivalent in this region is Bacar. <laughs> anyway, um, this boy says before you go, your gift, don't forget. Oh. Oh shit. And the boys the pull out from out here. Oh, am I fucking up all the layers? Hang on. I have to just uh, roll knowledge survival oh, or something to see. see that. I fucking accidentally put things in the wrong layer. There we go. Oh, there, there we are. We the go. tent is back. The tent is back. Yeah, okay. I accidentally removed the tent because I was getting confused with the layers. So the boys pull out your. Uh, your gift so you can unwrap it or whatever you want to do with it what's the survival oh. check for uh, <laughs> is it toxic like no, let me get the, the yes around. yes it is like because uh, it's brightly brightly colored do not do not ingest skin eat poison does it speak, does it speak uh, uh, Kutahlan or something? Uh, it does not. It speaks no language. It screams and shouts in some unknown language. Um, what's the size of that thing? It is a small, small creature. Hang on, let me double check that. Would it technically be an animal? It is not an animal. Fair enough. It is a human. <laughs> I am not an animal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, then it doesn't matter. Here we go, Adam. It is, in fact, a small creature. Uh, it is poisonous, and it is speaking a, a language I know none of you have. Oof. And. Your man presents it to you, Kanahan, as he believes you're the group leader. <laughs> As you talk most. <laughs> yep. Uh, Kanahan will look sternly st at it. Here, uh, your food. For you. As thanks. Be friends. Is it obviously toxic? It's, oh, is it all obviously uh, toxic? Cadahan would be able to discern that because I don't know you done really well on a survival roll. <laughs> you've, seen, you've seen poison frogs before, and this appears to be a poison frog man. Uh, she will like take out uh, her mace, mm -hmm. no, the big one, and gently up approach it. And uh, she, she will uh, rub it against his skin, mm -hmm. like soak the poison in. Mm -hmm. She like, shh, like, get, like stay, stay, stay quiet. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, after th that, uh, she will like sm smell the to, to see. Uh, Basically, is it is there a way uh, because she has poison resistance? She will try to lick like the, the small the smallest lick from her mace. Mm -hmm. God. Uh, 
trying to find the specific rules for that specific kind of poison. I'm trying to remember the specific book it came from. Just give me a moment. So you want to know what kind of what reaction you're gonna have to the kind of poison? Am I correct? Yeah, just I mean, just like t t taking a, a lick of poison, basically. Yeah. <laughs> what happens next? Yeah, this is not the right book. I did not expect someone to lick the poison. Lick the poison? <laughs> Well, not somebody who's entirely resistant to it. So well, like, I think it has the, the ring of poison resistance, so this I is know, the... I know you're, resist you're resistant to poison, I just can't find the page that explains the word. Poison, because I did not expect someone to just lick the poison. Yeah, at least if you just have resistance and not immunity. Um, so is it is it a frog person or is it just a giant frog? Mm -hmm. It is a small little frog man. Okay, so it has like arms and legs and like human-ish parts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what, 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 are you, what, what are you up to, uh, Penny? Um, I'm just wondering if I... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, I was just gonna see if I could, I don't know, determine anything about it? Or am I just staring at this monster going, what the hell is that? Yeah, make a, um, I don't know, a nature check or survival check. To... Do survival, because that's better. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Uh, what are you up to, Penny? Well, I'm. Um, um, I'm just, I'm just gonna watch from afar because I, I, I missed a bunch of stuff. I was looking for something, I couldn't find it, and then I got distracted. Uh, <laughs> we, we've uh, been presented with a toxic frog thing. Uh, no one's licked it, have they? Yes, they I did. Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> When yeah. presented with a frog, the first thing he did was lick it. There we go. Uh, that was the first thing we did. So, well, was... literally leave for two minutes and people start licking poison so, dart frog people. Uh, actually, yeah. yeah. It, it, it... Sp speaking of licking the frog, I'm sad to say, though, uh, Kipling has no idea this is poisonous, so uh, he's just watching. Well, I mean, that's just a go lick. Of, like, right. Something. right, okay. Pen Penny. So you're just kind of chilling mm -hmm. and hanging out in the background, yeah? Yeah, no, because okay. I just see, and I'm guessing that it will be like, colored like a dark frog. Mm -hmm. So that, that's already like, screaming, I'm toxic, don't eat me. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to take my distance, I'm not, yeah. nah, I'm not messing with you. only so, one out of all of us. So, Demea, you have heard about frog people? <laughs> from the jungles and swamps uh, of Cholt and the mainland. Uh, this boy, you've never heard of a, this kind of frog. He's a little smaller than what they should be. Um, but yeah, you're aware that frog people are a thing. Um, I'm trying to think. They're normally called bollywoods. However, this one appears to be not the same race it might be different um, I, I guess that's the only thing that you would be able to determine uh, um, ritualist uh, yeah. also, are you gonna say something boss I was just going to have to move back a little bit to stand next to Pyra but she was also gonna ask the chief what is that I, I will get to that in a moment okay <laughs> first of all I don't 
Rich Lisk gets to find out what happens when he licks the frog. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Just instant death. <laughs> the creature is frightened of its allies. Oh no. The creature is frightened of its allies. So, Catahan is now terrified of everyone <laughs> except the frog around her. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, okay. As she's having like an oh. LSD trip. <laughs> well, uh, because I'm t terrified of everything, I just uh, g g grab my body and make a dash from the jungle. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you, you can pick up your boy and run, run off. <laughs> <laughs> the jungle. Well, That's making the effect looks... a lot worse. <laughs> well, I didn't expect that pairing, but hopefully they'll have fun. Yeah, I'm just gonna move you off into the jungle over here. I'll I'll reveal the place where you are in a moment, Richelis. Should we go out? No, no, no. They'll probably have be all right. So, uh, yeah, so I'm sure we'll have, have many beautiful babies together. So, 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 Cat to have knows what she's doing. The furry tadpoles. <laughs> so, so Bob turns to uh, Catahan, who are um, to Demea, who asked him a question. What was your question again, Demea? Oh, uh, what is that? <laughs> Just look casually. What, what was that you asked? Just what is that? Oh, what is that? Yeah. Big captive. This enemy, they grung, grung bad. They poisonous. Can we smell that? Where, uh, where did they come from? Grung. Grung. They grung to what? Grung. What do they do? You said something about. Did you say poison? Yes, they poison. Oh no. Right, I'm just gonna dash after um Catahan. How far can I go? <coughs> well, you considering can just, I can, uh, you can just drive yourself. Can, 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 I can uh, dash quite fast. <laughs> to me, I'm still gonna try. <laughs> Yeah. As we are running off, Johnson is going to scream after them. If it's anything to do with the poison, you'll just make things worse. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> I'm okay. sure he won't. What, what's the survival check for Johnson? Uh, to s in determine whether or not that the poison had anything to do with the sudden change in the demeanor of the person who just licked a poisonous animal. Oh yeah, yeah, you. you... It's like pretty clear happen. to Johnson that like yeah that that's a thing. Yeah, as, <laughs> as soon as you've seen the uh, the frog, you're like, <sighs> I hope no one licks it. And then you've seen Catahan lick it, freak the fuck out, her pupils dilate, and then run out, run away, in that in not in that particular order. <laughs> to be honest, I might need this for a party when we come back. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, let's have a fear party! Oh, no. <laughs> we'll lock ourselves in a room and it just fear talks. <laughs> so, Karahan, where are you running to? I'm going to, uh, to run a bit more and then I'm going to try to hide in the tree somewhere. Alright, can you make a stealth check to see how well you hide? Okay. I mean, I already rolled, but... Uh... Oh, did you? Oh, I see that. Yeah, um, you... Uh... Hang on, let me... I'm in the wrong layer. Alright, Ritualist, you know what to draw. <laughs> a giant cat person hiding behind a one-inch thick like, yeah, tree. No, it, there's a lot of foliage in front of your face. <laughs> there, there's not much below your waist. <laughs> I can't see them. <laughs> they can't see me. <laughs> Oh, no, I, no, I, I try like climb on top of the tree, like I found a top top on tree, and I'm hugging the frog. You climb up the tree, but it like bends over all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
to would Kipling and I have seen seen her seen where she ran off? Oh, oh, she's so defensive. far ahead. Yeah, I'm guessing yeah. so. Hang on. Uh, right. No, uh, yeah. Kip, Kipling can see her. Hold on, where's my back? Got the hand, come down. Uh, yeah, you, you can also see her, Demeo. Okay. Cat, Catahan, you are tripping balls. Please come down. <laughs> we care about you. Okay, what's to throw uh, a mace uh, like a club? Uh, I'll try. make a dexterity check. Yeah. What is your AC, Oof. Kipling? My AC is 11. That's a mace, then. As the club just flies way past you. While all this is just going on, Johnson's just gonna go to Tagger. What do you bet that this turns into a huge mess? Uh, well, I hope it doesn't, but I mean, I don't know how take it or leave it. I vote for mess. Yeah. Uh, is there is there some way to roll like to resist poison or something? Uh, it didn't actually say on that, so I just made it happen because I thought it was hilarious. I will have the effect though, like the, the extent of the effect. Just to have it happen for the lol, for the lols. <laughs> um, these boys, uh, this boy is like, just turns to Johnson and Tiger is just like, so you, you, your tribe like this all the time? <laughs> um, uh, sometimes, I. Mm. We have sex the ones. ones. <laughs> oh. Johnson's just gonna, the ones who ran off are new. They are learning uh, poorly. Yes, the young ones. <laughs> if I could hear you, I'd comment that at least I'm resistant to poison. Uh, Bob turns to Pyra. You there, Penny? Yes, I am. The gold, gold plant. Good for that. Oh, he kind of smirks and wanders you... off. Right. Maybe we should like go to camp and then like get right. some of that. Get right. some of that catnip and throw it at Rachel. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> her, right. her back. <laughs> or drugs. Yeah, Kata is just hissing out the two of you. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kipling. God damn it! I'm done here. This. I, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> Is there anything you need right. to do, um, Demeo? Um, I'm just gonna say, come on, come down, Cat. We have Cat. <laughs> <Come down, cats. laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, should I roll some like wisdom against that? Dad. Come on, uh, roll persuasion, uh, Daniel. Let's let's roll persuasion. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I, I, I squeeze my uh, yellowish. F Come down and like carefully, carefully, carefully. I'm just holding very still, so it's like not to startle her. It's okay. We'll go get you some catnip. Put some off that up nicely. You see, uh, that's what you say. What I hear is, "We're going to get you some catnip." Yeah. <laughs> you hear like the most demonic voice say this. <laughs> so, okay, catnip's the magic word. For 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 the ease of uh, having conversations with with Kanahan. After about two hours, the effects wear off. Oof. Johnson just came over here to watch the show at this point. Tomei is like slowly trying to lure Cat Ahan back towards the others with promises of catnip. She's not yeah. quite sure where the camp is from here. Like, Dami is just standing there frantically trying to negotiate with Cat Ahan, who's like approaching like with little bunny hops occasionally, then backing <laughs> off again. And just, he's just watching like a frog under struggle. her arm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's just standing there with his arms crossed, just like watch. <laughs> Until Catahan, after about two hours, the effects of the LSD wears off. 
Katakne is just like done, like she just dra drags her ass, <laughs> looks at the lizard man as she she's still uh, ho holding the poor frog as fixed as fixed it for a long time now. <laughs> Can I just take a nap by the fire? <laughs> As she walks past, Jossie goes, did you learn anything? Yeah. Something, I'm sure, in the morning. Should I put... Should I put... Should I put her living source of drugs in a cage or something? Well, living source might be a strong word. <clears throat> Fair enough. Can you just rule that the poor frog is asphyxiated as they hugged it? Gosh, how tight were you hugging that poor frog? Well, two hours is a long time, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, you wouldn't want to kill your friend, though. The frog is no. not dead. The frog is like, can can I, like, leave, please? <laughs> Oh my gosh, the frog talks. Yeah. No, the frog's not talking. You you just get that impression from what it's saying. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's like just the look in his eye. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> you're done. It's like, if you move, I will put you back. <laughs> he gives you a thumbs up with no idea what you said, but he gets the gist of it. Alright. Yes. Okay, do you want to head back home or do you want to sleep here? Like, either works. Let's sleep I'm here going back. Night. All right. We might want to put that thing somewhere where um, it won't affect people unless right, they yeah, can, You can tie him up and chuck him on the back of the thing. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like uh, uh, Chuck Katakan and uh, the frog on Han only and just like gently lead him. <laughs> yeah, let's go home. Which right. way are you going? Uh. Oh, ways, question, actually. Yeah, probably. Is this messy gamey? Do we know there's a bridge there? Uh, well, you <laughs> asked your boys to do it before you left, so yes. Okay, so it should be there by now, and if it's not, uh, I'll go. Table. Maybe that bridge will be there, lads. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> All right. Say bye to the Dragonborn <laughs> tribe. As they're all going off to bed. <laughs> Yes. What's the intimidation for Kipling? Oh, that that was for this one. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. No, um, he, he's pretty pretty secured. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Thank you for a good party. Mm -hmm. Uh, what? Like, how late is it? At this point. Eh, the sun has gone gone down already. All right, Johnson's gonna light a torch. Yeah. Oh. Oh shit, I have one of those magic as well. Uh, have the lantern of revealing. Mm -hmm. I'll use that. Reveal <laughs> invisible things, okay. Yeah. I'd recommend we go north to the river and then follow the river back to the ocean. That'll be a quicker path. Oh yeah, we could do that actually. Yeah, At the very cool. least, it'll keep us from getting lost in the woods for a few days. I prefer <laughs> not to have that happen. Oh god, it'll be like the island. Reference activate. Oh. Let's not get lost. Well, in choosing to wander this way, you end up at this with uh, no no problems. You get this far. You can just okay. get that far. Now, it, what would you like to do? We'll head right. Well, here you don't see any logs in the water. However, Johnson notices fish However. in the water. Oh, fish! No one cares about fish. Fish. Eyes at a hand suspiciously. Uh, There's some fishes there. Just oh, uh, snoring. We have the bigger fish at home, so it's good. For you. Marina, do you want some snacks? Uh, Johnson and Taggart, as you're like walking into like plumes of insects. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, oh. I guess I'll have to lay an actual torch and wait Hang around. on a second, let me find the the fly. This is you're like <laughs> just walking straight into them. 
Uh, Here you go, enjoy, enjoy the, the amazing art of saving a... Oh. <laughs> what's, your, what's your AC? Taggart and Johnson. Uh, 18. 18. Uh, 17. Yep, the flies don't manage to get through your armor for some reason. Oof. Eight. Demea, as you're going through the insects, what's your AC? Around them! What? I went around them. Are they oh. the little spots on there? Well, generally in the vicinity here, what is your AC? Oh, Five yeah. foot reach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is your AC? Ah, uh, 14. As you wander through the insects, you take 11 piercing damage. They're just like... 11? <laughs> just wow. just, hey. just uh, a swarm of insects is just sucking their blood. They're fucking rotten, yeah. yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. Uh, what's your AC? Uh, what like about the uh, uh, like a storm of blood flies or something? <laughs> like they're actually big doing damage insects. They're not like oh Jesus! Yeah, your armor class. Fourteen. Fourteen. You also <laughs> take eleven, eleven piercing damage from all the bites. <laughs> Insect midge bites. Kipling, what's well, your AC? Eleven. I know, 11 damage. 11 damage. Catahan, what is your AC? 18. 18. You just, like, just flex <laughs> and they just can't bite you. They no, bounce off your muscles. Like, you know that thing where if a mosquito bites you and you flex, you can pop it? It's like that. <laughs> like, you know, what about a little friend? Flexes like, suddenly covered in a little, like, exploding insect. Uh, the flies leave uh, him alone. Oh. What about our, our little friend? Oh, the, oh, your dinosaur? Uh, the, uh, yeah, dinosaur and the... Uh, what will it for the dinosaur? Uh, dinosaur... Armor class 14. Yeah, no, he, he's immune to it because um, he's a dinosaur. Ah, uh, and then what about the fish? The fish? The frogman? Uh, sorry, the, the frogman. The frogman is odd. Uh, they, they ignore the frogman for some reason. Ah, uh, they ignore. Yeah, the poison boy. Yeah. Richelis, I have an art, art idea for you. Kipling walks into like a little cloud and walks out his skin and bones on the other side. Yeah. Because <laughs> he is legit hardcore game bloodied right now. <laughs> yep, he is. He is literally 2 HP. <laughs> the one thing that cannot be tolerated in a functional <laughs> ecosystem <laughs> must be those. Alright, me me, me me pass. Oh, poor Kipling. <laughs> I thought I was ready to return to nature. I'm not gonna do it a no. second time because I'll probably kill Kipling. <laughs> Mosquitoes every time. Oh no, there's two pirates. How did that happen? Wait, wait, what? There's two pirates. Oh, How did that happen? I only see one. I see two. There's one over here. <laughs> I'm confused. There's one on the bridge as well. Do you see that? No. Oh shit. All right. I, I didn't see my icon anymore. And I was like, oh, maybe I deleted it myself. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm oh no. Uh, maybe bridge pyro needs to go mm. away. There. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, Pasta, you have the crossbow, yeah? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Well, well uh, yeah. He has a hat. You know what? Just, just. Drag yourselves. I'm gonna go drag Ritualist up to the camp. There we go. Drag the rest of yourselves up to the camp as you arrive back at camp. He has a hand crossbow. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. Alright, um, put the frogman somewhere secure near the herbalist area because we can uh, really? use him for experiment. So you can... <laughs> <laughs> they tell us to get uh, over this. They give, give <laughs> Uh, explicit order, the new punishment. Whoever miss, uh, breaks the, the law <laughs> has to lick the frog. I can agree to that. Where, where are you putting the frog? Somewhere secure in the herbalist section. Like, just put him. Just tie him up like, and chop him there, in just the a back. Just, place. just randomly sitting in the open space. Yeah, just get him in your place. 
Oh wait. I'll leave us I... the time of stay away. You can order some right. of your constructor boys to stay up late and make him a cage. Yeah, you know? a cage for him. Hang yeah. On. Under construction is a cage. Let me find it. I mean, it's almost, let's at least. It's almost as if this was planned. Uh, like, I, I ask ask the, the little man, I mean, just basically, food, water, this plant, this plant, how much water, let's try to at least keep he, him alive. He holds his hands cupped up to his mouth as if he's asking for water. Ooh. And he just picks well, off the bush through the cage. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Yep. As you arrive back, uh... You're greeted, staggered by uh, Sophia uh, Flat Cakes. Oh god. Oh no. She oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake, not that stupid me. <laughs> she, she's with one of the, the people helping out, uh, Chef Ainsley. And they're like, oh, yeah. dinner's ready. Oh, nice. You actually called one Sophia <laughs> Hey, wait, we just had the nerve. I'm sorry, since she's a prostitute, I that mean, just makes uh, things sound really dire, but uh, on, the, uh, a, on a side uh, note... Uh, um... yeah, uh, cross, this is like a dinner for basically tonight when the lizard man gets to our camp, so it's like... Oh, Party number. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, we, we, we told him that explicitly. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, and this time we already had the nurse to be kind of stupid yeah. to make ourselves a second feast. Second feast. Also, okay, Ross, uh, Dano, Dano, Dano just, and I have a message for Klaus there. Make sure you catch that. And Johnson is going to go to bed. No, hang on, I didn't see it. Klaus, alert all the guards. If dark scaled lizard men show up at the camp, they are not hostile. I alert myself. And target at once. Uh, Captain comes in and sends Marna just to go to our camp. Okay. Uh, so, all oh, Kipling is wandering off over there to his new friends. Yeah, but uh, deal with the others first. Yeah, okay. <laughs> God damn it, <laughs> Kipling. <laughs> you, you, you've done this to yourself. I, I'll, get, I'll get to that in a moment. Wait, what? <laughs> I, I'll get to it in a second. So what what are you doing in the camp as you arrive back? Oh, John's is going to bed, is he? Yeah. yeah. I assume everybody's going to bed because it's late, yeah? Yeah, Taggart's going to bed. Is Pyra going to bed? Um, I'm gonna like, look at the plan some more and figure out how to like, make something out of it. Mm -hmm. Because of like, well, this dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just to be sure to like have basically an EpiPen ready for mm -hmm. whenever someone licks it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what I'm is Demaya? Check it out. What is Demaya doing? is covered in mosquito bites and is tired and itchy. So she's just gonna go to bed. <laughs> All right. All right then, Kipling. Yes. As you wander up to the snakes. He will take out the dino flesh. Greetings. <laughs> As he do, now do you is... automatically talk to animals? No. He is... Well... Actually... <laughs> considering... What size are these? These are uh, tiny creatures. He talks with those automatically. Ah, okay. Uh, that so one they not don't so just much. instantly all bite you, <laughs> trying to poison you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> been really bad. With you on your two HP approaching random snakes. Ah, uh, but I invite you here. But he's going to um, he's going to give you up the flesh for the uh, snakes present. Mm -hmm. I'll leave some for the boar. Oh well, shit. As a bit of a unspoken agreement, <laughs> he currently can't speak with the the gigantic boa mm -hmm. unless uh, very very necessary. Yeah, the boa just starts crawling up around your neck and just kind of sits there, eating on the flesh. 
Just digesting it. Uh, Where upon, the boa? Uh, yeah, upon the boa getting around his neck, he is actually going to cast speak with animals and say, mm -hmm. um, please don't get too comfortable with that. I might be immune to them, but uh, if you if, if you dispatch me, you might not get too much more food. Now, now, you have your piece of dino flesh. It just ignores you. <laughs> I bring what I can as I provide. It is snoring. Okay, fair enough. Uh, in that case, he's going to. Can he try to extract the poison from the snakes? Do you have any empty vials? Uh, currently, let's see... Vials, where's vials? He has six empty vials. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm trying to think... Nature or... Yeah, make a nature check. Nature check? Handle, handle animal, I guess. Uh, um... uh, could survival work, maybe. Yeah, yeah sure. Survival check okay. to milk the snakes. <laughs> you only manage. Can I use the perk points? You might. Yeah, yeah, you can use your face. Yes. Sorry, I did not mean to interrupt you, but uh, I just realized. Oh, wait. I still have one of those. <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> only milk enough snake venom from this from all four snakes to produce one vial of snake poison. If uh, anyway, in any case, he's going to thank them with the gestures he can, and then um, <laughs> he's going to try to do a gesture. Equated to like want to be friends. Mm -hmm. I'll feed you. Mm -hmm. yep. Do they seem to accept? They seem indifferent and willing to follow you. Okay. In that case, um. Kipling will ask uh, them to wait there as he takes the boa off his head. Stay right here, I will be right back. As he returns to camp, stay there. Quick, I need a place we can store snakes. Friend snakes, but snakes. We have an empty bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, Pasta. I love this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, God. <laughs> Klaus, please. I need a place to store friendly snakes. No, Klaus but just, just like face palms and leaves. <laughs> he just fetches Taggart. <laughs> you might want to do him a this. Give him a, a cooking pot. Uh, hi. Preferably somewhere they can't hurt us if they turn to be hostile and we uh -huh. don't feed them. But also where that we can use them. I, uh, you want a place to keep snake? Yes, but preferably not in camp. But just so okay. you're aware that the snakes there. It's Kipling snake farm. <laughs> I, I, I groggily wander around a bit, oh, yeah. <laughs> find somewhere to put the snake. <laughs> Kipling will follow, and just for the snakes to follow, but not for the hunt to look around. The, the boys just frantically just clear out of this this area here. Don't worry, gentlemen. They're with me. If they do anything, I will kill them. 
Alright, He will say in common, not say otherwise. Alright, look. Place where the gold was, they can hide them there for now. Oh, that's it's actually dry very smart. And out of the world rain. Fine. Yep. Yeah, all the snakes <laughs> just like. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's cool. I'm yeah. over on Tiger's legs and just wander off over here. Excellent. Right, night, yeah. snakes. Bye. Good night. <laughs> I feel like that's like a really passive aggressive, like sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, snakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, have a nice and tight night. I'll return with food. Right, so while uh, Kipling is pipe pipering all the snakes, um, is anyone else doing anything in the camp? Are you happy to leave it for the night? Uh, I'm good for the night. I'm gonna go sleep. <laughs> yep. As will I. Sleep is good. Mm -hmm. Very good. And you know what? I'll be kind because Kipling is like dying. <laughs> you all Thank you recover you. all of your HP. Yeah. You're a very gracious overlord. There you go. I mean, uh, we can, uh, if you want, maybe we can speed it up. Uh, days. We have a lizard man coming over. We have healing up. We have like patching stuff up, because I think we mostly explore the maps, so we can do like mm -hmm. camp stuff. Yes. Is there anything you would like to specifically do in the camp over the next day or two? No, basically, uh, the big thing is set up the the water canals, like. From here to here, and we have the, the big boy occasionally milling the pump. So you want to get water from the river? Yeah, so it's not uh, labor intensive. Irrigation pump thingy, you know, for water. Yeah, I, I, I'll even uh, draw it for you so you can see. Yeah, sure. So th that's like the big project, and we start uh, essentially building, uh, turning these uh, tents into houses. Okay. Yeah, I have it, but well, that's basically like, uh, because we have explored the area, roughly, i say we spend the next couple of days, like, doing with the lizards and maybe we can prepare for that. Alright, um, if you just come over here on the beach a moment, uh, there's two kinds of buildings I have on the list here. One is just called small building and the one called small workshop. Um, let's try and see... How many of these you want to build? So I'll let you build four in the in the next within the next two days. Which <coughs> of the two see. types would you like to have for see buildings? Out of, four, out of four buildings, which of the two types would you like to have? Uh, let's see. Uh, well, we need somewhere for storing stuff, so it's not next to the share. Yeah, so definitely maybe two small buildings. Yeah, for okay. storage warehouses. Yep, as as. Oh, God, this is like RimWorld and it's pretty stock Yeah. <laughs> um, yep. well, uh, not on the beach. If we can no, no, we're going to move them up there later. Okay. But, uh, for now, yeah, just we... so it's an area where there's All nothing right. there. Um, if nobody else has any requests. This is not our turn. This is a recommendation if we literally have nothing else to use the houses for. Is put the snakes in the house, but have them in like not a cage, but basically secured away from people. I don't think uh, unless you have like a, like a terrarium. Maybe. I don't Maybe. think it's, it's good to bring snakes into the camp just yet. Yeah. No, 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 but what I'm thinking is, it's better than having them wild, so that if they actually do turn feral, they might no, actually... They're actually better off in the wild if they turn feral, because um, if they come out as well, we know where they are, and we can eat them, like... I, I don't want them going feral in our own camp. Man, man, snakes. Yeah, I like... Then my uh, suggestion is no lamuts, forget about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So unless we really want to go fancy, uh, what we can do with this workshop, actually? Well, you mentioned before you wanted a blacksmith. 
Should we maybe have a guard barracks? You yeah, can build that's... a small building as a guard barracks. Yeah, oh, that should be a good idea. So you want two so... buildings and one workshop? Yeah, we don't need the extra extra protection for now. Small tower can wait a bit. Can we put one of the storage ones in relatively near the dock in a solid bit of land? So the uh, loading or like and here, is like here. tucked between the palisade and the dock. Maybe not on the beach because that's probably not very stable. The tide area. You can the probably tide. get one in there. Oh, by the way, we're, the tide, we're though, thinking but... building things on yeah. on the uh, right on the water's edge is kind of dumb. What like yeah. over here maybe? Yeah, yeah like somewhere more around. Yeah. So you can just create a pathway and walk there. There we go. I'll move it to the map layer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Where would you like the second one? So the second one will be a barret, I'm guessing. Uh, we need the one storage. Or, or yeah, the one storage. Yeah, one for, one for storage and one for a barret, because we have two left. That, that'll be storage. the storage one. Okay, that one for storage. You want st storage outside of the, the main camp. Ah, okay, see, yeah. if you're going to put that there now, you need to remove uh, Demea's tent. Yeah, no, no, we don't want... We want to move the storage into there. Are you sure about that? Well, the plan so, is to moving, not moving your, your, you yeah, moving your, your food stuff and uh, your resources outside the fort before yeah, the but Indians we attack. don't, we don't want to live in this camp forever. We, I know, but what I'm saying is, for now, if yeah, I don't think, just think have it's, it's, that it's, set up where it is already. It and basically we'll wants to be in fight. It wants to be in fight on. here until we big, build bigger walls outside. Yeah, exactly. Like we want the stored stuff inside the walls that we have until we have more walls and more stuff set up outside. Well, if that's the case, then I don't see the point in building buildings until the walls are up. So yeah, I, mean, I kind of agree. It's better if we have barracks here and ensure that this is very much within the line of sight and we can secure it. Maybe have some of these rolling out here so we can at least expand and don't end up stagnating is at least my opinion all right well uh that's fine sorry uh, uh, there will be a disagreement I... between johnson and tagger but johnson is going to allow tagger to make the final decision yeah uh well, well, cross, we'll cross let's just not bother with buildings and just make fucking wool around the place you want to build a big palisade around the yeah. exterior of the camp? Before we start building, yeah. Okay. yeah well, let's around. do that. Well, this is going to want to um, like this, huh? Let me move yeah. that to the GM layer. Um, and I will move all of that back. Oops. Thanks. We could literally just make a massive palisade. Yeah, if you could just. I don't know if we need one on the beach, but it might not be a bad idea because. I mean, maybe by the bridge. I, I don't know if, like, on the beach is. It would necessary. stop amphibious invasions if that was ever a thing. Are you expecting an amphibious invasion? That's the thing. Uh, the Spanish we might the 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 amphibious invasion. But... Well, but then again, that would be m more of a fort, like a grand fort, if anything, and then like a proper settlement. We got a plan long term as well, that's the thing. Like... True. But then again, I don't know. I, I'm I leaving did. this building here because the boys built a little building. Oof. Well, at least we need a workshop. You know. Where would yeah. you like to put the workshop? I'll give you two buildings. Who yeah. requires? Who needs a workshop? Where's the work? Where's well, the workshop? It's here. Uh, maybe uh, next. How? How about here? Where are you pointing to? Rotate it nine. You see the brown beneath the uh, the area where all the workers and will are. Oh, there, I see it now, yeah. That shitty, shitty thing. Is. Turn it sideways or whatever. Yeah, it's somewhere right there. Are we making that like a lumberjack workshop, quote unquote? Like a carpenter's workshop? It's nearby where they're going to be building. Well, it's right in the middle of where they're going to be building all the new palisades, so I figured that works. Oh, they yeah, use cool. it as a carpenter's shop for building the palisade, is that it? So. 
They put up a couple of, like, shacks or pavilions or sheds or whatever the fuck those are. And, uh, for the rest of their work today, we can get them started on a palisade. More or less like that, I guess. I don't yeah, know. I'll do the palisade off screen. If you can just mark the edges of the palisade. Not necessarily the, the long bits, but like the turns in it. At least that, that way we need to go less like this way. We might need to go this a bit. But we, we, we get more area to work with. So you want it to go from, from what? From here? The edge of the cliff all the way down, is that it? Yeah, something gives us a bit of a, yeah. a border okay. around this. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Let me just let me hold, hold up like, here. If we hold need more second, land, we always... I'm just going to do this. Uh, this. And here. Okay, there you go. You can take it away. There, you there go. we go. Just so I can know where, where, where you want it to turn and whatnot. And I'll add that in later. Because if we extend the walls, we can always, like, build more, you know, around there as well. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you're being a bit anal about it. It's, like, the basic. There you go. I'll add the palisade in later. And this is, like, the... Oh, hang on. There's actually a drawing, is there? I, I finished, yeah, uh, the, the, like, the big thing. You've not... The, 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 oh, I see it now, it's coming. The water. Here it is, you can see it. Oh, shit, you want to build a, uh, a water mill with with a pump attached to the big chungus. Yeah. Is that it? You can need to, to do it all day just for some time, then until we get, like, sufficient water there, he can rest and so on. And then you want you Penny to purify the water, is that it? Yeah, just to have a steady supply. Or are you just gonna drink it straight out of the river? We'll purify it with water. Oh, okay. Or sanitize, I guess, if you're oh. right. Penny has a spell oh. called purify water. So that's basically that. Uh, uh, house, a workshop, walls, and uh, the water pump. That's like our next day, 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 day or three. So while um, Canahan, Kipling, Johnson and Tiger are all involved in the construction. What is Demea and uh, what is Demea doing? Well, I suppose I'm helping with these various projects. Mm -hmm. um, either helping put them up or plan them or whatever mm -hmm. uh, Johnson and Taggart need. Just trying to make myself useful. All right. Mm. And what is Pyra up to for the next two days? You there, Penny? I think I think she's wandered off. That's fine. I lost her when she came. She didn't say BRB. Oh, did she? I didn't hear her. Yeah. Okay. I didn't. I didn't see that either. It's in the the roll twenty chat. Oh, sorry. I wasn't looking at it. Yeah. Right. So, shall we leave it at that? Or is there anything you would like to do? Well, anything maybe we can, we can slowly prepare. They, they said that there is like. Uh, Eight days trip away. Eight days? Yeah, a day. A day trip, there is some gold. Um, the, the lizardman said so. Oh, they, they, said there was, they said there was treasures. He gave you the treasure. He gave you the knowledge of the area. Yeah, can, can you maybe see a bit? Like, he gave you not some knowledge about living in the area and what was to the yeah. west that that was your treasure knowledge is, the knowledge ah. is worth more than gold yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but did you see that, like a day's trip from our location there is got, some ruin let me uh let me go to the map there we go so you ye, ye are here you encounter the camp over here um I'll, I'll name them uh, later. Um, copy. Paste. Oh, everything's oh. broken on me. Oh no. Let me try that again. Uh, 
Oh, I've accidentally copied that, not the copy. There we go. There we go. So, you're currently here. You encountered the lizard man. Your Ryu Don Gennaro is right here. Your, uh, I guess your plan was to head this direction. Yeah, that's what he has to. Yeah, we can sell from that journey when uh, the lady sure. Mm -hmm. So I basically, we can yeah, 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 yeah. want to make this place as secure as we can before heading off. Like, ideally, I'd wait until the Palisades are up before we can out. Yep, no, you can hold out until then. Um, and we, and we'll pick up that from that point next week so you can give me a chance to do any additional maps and whatnot. Um. So By just the more, on the map, like somewhere around here, uh, to the south, mm -hmm. bad lizards. Bad lizards. <laughs> well, uh, that that's is, what they say. Yeah? That is open to interpretation, as that is the land of the Takaro. Um, to the west was uh, the land of the Grungs. Oof. Uh, the, the frog people. The, the grungs are in this region here ish. Okay. Speak it up. When the Mr. Lizard Chief talked about footprints about our size, mm -hmm. somewhere to the west, mm -hmm. whereabouts do you think that would be? That would map? be in the grung territory, is what he was referring to. To the footsteps about mm -hmm. our size. Yep. And they're talking about flying people. They were referring to somewhere in the region of the mountains over here. Oof. <laughs> so, god damn it. Fly boy. Shy is cottage. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I'm sorry. Oh. Can we just call those frogs the Windus? He will not divide can you, us. He will not divide can, us. Can you, can you do, you shoot me a link of the, the spelling of that and I might actually use it. Or not a link, uh, just, just DM me the spelling of that. And I might use it. So we have knowledge of the flyboys, of the frog people, of the other little tribe. Yeah. And uh, ruins are like uh, way more to the west or something like that? There was ruins somewhere in the jungle to the west, yeah. So, if you next so week. That's currently the map. So next week, if you were to possibly figure out a way of interrogating the lizard man, or the frogman, he might actually know stuff about that. <laughs> oh, Penny's back. Yes. Is is there anything you would like to do in the meantime while uh, they are um, doing construction and, and hanging out in the camp? Or do I you want to just do more? I think I'll probably start to. Go on, go on. Uh, I'll probably try to figure out like how to. Well, I'll definitely try and produce superior healing potions mm -hmm. and also some other potions, mm -hmm. but then also work on the yellow plant mm -hmm. to like get something quick on hand that we can have with us if needed. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah, keep more frogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. Like uh, frogs for one hour, then you get the antidote. <laughs> I will uh, tell you next week what you produce as you uh, are working more on creating amazing health potions and examining the plants. And your two assistants, the two prostitutes, assigned to you <laughs> for some reason. 
aid you in that. So. Oh, I can use them as like um. This <laughs> <some just>, uh, <laughs> way. Yeah. So because they could like lick the frog, and then I can give them the meds and <laughs> see how it works and how quickly it works. <laughs> Basically. So Penny, can you roll me a D3? Uh, just type in the in the side chat uh, slash R one D three. There you go. You've made three of the really good health potions. I'll tell you exactly which ones they are next week. Um, can you roll a D10 and? A D6. You can either type it or just use the roller on the side, on the left hand side. I already did. Oh, you done it already, yeah. Okay, it took a second to load. So you've made nine um, regular health potions and uh, six of the really good the other ones that you you made last time what were they called again the superior health potion yeah yeah Jesus. it's a lot of health yeah so we have six superior healing mm -hmm. um nine greater is it? no nine of the regular ones just nine oh, regular. Healing potions yeah you're just like banging out all the fucking health potions from all of the different plants you've got here hell yeah and then you've got three of the really good ones which i will look up and uh, let you know what those are specifically next week i don't want to spoil oh, okay. it so i want to make sure i get it right oh, boy. so yeah if everyone is happy shall we leave it we, uh, actually i have one more quest if that's okay mm -hmm. would you yeah, prefer it on this map or the other map Oh, uh, basically, it's what Kipling does before they set out. Mm -hmm. At least when he knows that they're setting out about that day. I'll, I'll let you finish, but I will do that next week. Go on. Okay, uh, but basically, Kipling would check if somebody in camp is comfortable with poisons. Not immune, but basically someone who can feed the snakes and that it could potentially instruct how to like quote unquote milk them. Make an investigation check, please. Okay. <laughs> oh Jesus. Nobody snake. wants to touch those snakes. You, you don't find anyone that will do it, but you do learn that some of the tribals, not these ones that you currently have with you are familiar with milking snakes and poisonous creatures and creating poisons or some some tribals use poisons on their weapons however your boys don't well that settles it seems johnson we're getting a few more travel companions palpable fear <laughs> just <laughs> It's just a backpack full of snakes. Social distancing. Yeah, unfortunately, that just seems to be how it panned out. That, uh, Richard, this is how Kipling does social distancing. He keeps snakes around him. You stay six feet away from my snake. Right. And that snake. So, and that other snake. So, is is everyone happy? Should we leave, we leave yeah. that? Mm. Yeah. Yeah? Mm. Everyone else happy? Yeah. Yep. yep. Sounds good. Okay. Any final, final messages? Or... Don't like don't toads. toads. Mm. Yeah. Don't like toads. Unless don't like toads. Toad. Yes, I was about to say the same. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah watch. Watch all winter. Hey. Yeah, thanks, Ben. Yeah. I'll stick thanks a link below. Shut up. Boss, when is your stuff coming out? You there, boss? Yeah. When is your stuff coming out? Oh, no, I'm still here. Uh, what stuff? Your the stuff that you're gonna do for your YouTube stuff. Do you wanna plug it quickly before we end? <laughs> no, because that's to be determined. <laughs> okay, so, Grant, alright. Have a good night, everyone.